Okay, guys, in a recent development that has stirred the political landscape of rivers, the river state, the former Niger Delta warlord Asari Dokubo has made uh, has made a bold accusation against President Bola Tinubu. In a video that quickly went viral, the Kubo claims that President Tinubu is exacerbating the political tension in River State by favoring Yeson Wiki, the former governor and the current minister of the Federal Capital Territory. The Kubo's allegation suggests a deep seated manipulation of political power, accusing President Tinubu of playing God by handling over control of River State to a single individual. This move, according to Dokubo, undermines the collective will of the Ijo and Ikwere people, two prominent ethnic groups in the state. The political crisis in question has seen a rift develop between Wike and his former ally, now Governor Sim Fubora. Dokubo criticized Wike for his authoritarian approach, approach which he believes is dead on arrival and the detrimental the, the to the state's democratic processes. He stated, advise my friend, President Bola Tinubu, what you are doing to all Ijo and Ikwiri people in River State. You took River State and handed it over to one individual. In April, Fubora announced that the administration had increased the state monthly internally generated revenue from 12 billion, which was the amount when he announced when he assumed office to 27 billion. The Kubo praised this development, claiming that the governor only had access to 6 billion when he, he first took office. The governor declared that the IGR for River States is now 25 billion, up from 12 billion naira. The governor is actually downplaying the truth. When he took office, they were giving him a mere 6 billion, he remarked. In another development related to the ongoing crisis, Fubora announced on Monday that he would establish a panel of inquiry to investigate the state governance issues. He reviewed this while swearing in the administering the oath of office to Dagogo. San has a state attorney general and the commissioner for justice. The political turmoil in River State is not a new uh, phenomenon. The state has a history of in intense political rivalry and power struggles, often leading to unrest and instability. The current situation is a re reflection of the ongoing battle for control and influence within the state's political sphere. As the accusation and counter accusations continue to unfold, the people of River State are caught in the middle of a power tussle that threatens to dispute the peace and development of the region. The outcome of the crisis will have far reaching implications for the state's governance and the well-being of its states. The situation calls for a careful examination of the political dynamics at play and a concerted effort by all stakeholders to resolve the crisis amicably. It is imperative for the leaders involved to prioritize the interests of the people above personal ambitions and to work towards a harmonious and prosperous river state. In conclusion, the allegations made by Asari Dokubo against President Tinubu have added another layer of complicity to the already volatile political environment in river states. It remains to be seen how this accusation will impact the relationship between the state and the federal government and what measures 
will be taken to ensure stability and progress in the region. So guys, what's your take on this? In a parallel move, Governor Fubora declared his intention to form a panel of inquiry to look into the state governance okay, issues. This information was re released concurrently with uh, the Gogo uh, Sans Oath of Office as River State Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice. The governor also took aim at uh, Professor Zacharias, okay, son, the former attorney general, who had just quit from his government. Now he's acting like a god, the Kubo said in the video. All the things he's doing are dead on arrival. Whatever you are doing to all of the Joe and Equerry people in River State, I advise you, my friend, President Tunubu, he, he went on, you took River State and gave it to one person. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Thank you.